Howdy folks, Coffee and Tools again. I uh, thought we'd have a little fun on Mondays. Monday's usually a hack day or something. And was looking through the two big box stores. You know, there's Home Depot and there's, there's Lowe's. And it really, if you shop them, you probably shop both. I know that, like, what I do is I'll go to one and then, well, let's go over to the other one and check it too and then decide which one I'm going to buy from for whatever the product is, the project going on. Sometimes <clears throat> with the projects, you end up going to both stores to get supplies for one project, you know, because one has better this, the other one has better that. You know, we've, we've all been there. But when I was walking through the stores, I've always looked at the Home Depot bucket and I've always looked at the Lowe's bucket and really didn't think anything of it. And then one day it hit me. Are they the same? Are they the same price? Are they the same size? Are they both sourced from the same company? Huh. Got thinking about it. So today we're going to try to answer that question. <laughs> or those questions. <laughs> today we're going to answer those questions. <laughs> and first off, we're going to... Let's just say that this one here shows from Lowe's. Made in America. Yep, made in USA. Stamped right on it. I can't find that on the Home Depot bucket. So that's a little disappointing, but... They both seem to be sourced from the same company. Again, or are they? Uh, I checked the Home Depot company, which is Leak Tight, and went over their website and their product line. I could not find Lowe's Bucket. So, yeah, things started to get a little bit more mysterious as I started digging into this little project. But the first thing we need to do is check the price. As this so happens, I went over to both stores the other day and bought one of each, one bucket, one bucket, brand new, yeah, right off the showroom floor. <laughs> and uh, price wise, ta da ta ta da. The Home Depot bucket, after tax, this is in Texas, so sales tax is uh, through the roof, $5.39. The Lowe's bucket at Lowe's was $5.39. How about that? They're the same price. They're both five gallon buckets. Now, mind you, uh, if you drive into town or drive anywhere along the highway these days, you can usually find them alongside the road. Just, you know, pick one up, depending on whether you like the Home Depot bucket or the Lowe's bucket, because you'll find them laying on the side of the road, up uh, hanging off the side of fences, up in trees, uh, sometimes rolling around in back alleys. Uh, yeah, there's no limit to where you can't find a, a Home Depot bucket or a Lowe's <laughs> bucket. Uh, just a quick word, if you have found one of these buckets in a strange place in your lifetime, I'd like to hear about it. I don't care if it was in the trunk of a car that you found one or uh, sitting on the top of a Christmas tree or something, but we'd love to hear comments and stories about where you may have found one of these buckets in the past. Uh, now let's back to our show. <laughs> handy for washing the car. I use it as a trash can in my shop, but uh, they're handy for a lot of different reasons. Also, this one here comes with the Oh, uh, I have it. Okay. I gotta know. I just, I just gotta know. Let's see. Let's find it. Alright, so, unload that. Unload that. Whew. Yeah. Hmm. Fits perfect. Wow. The Lowe's bucket, same thing, you get seats and different crazy little accessories. I've also seen people cut these up and make all kinds of crazy, splendid things out of them. Uh, even dust collectors for the shop, for, you know, wood shop and stuff. So, very cool. But, what I want to look at today, like I said, was the difference between them. Is there any difference? The handles look to be, and uh, check the measurements on them and everything, pretty much the same. Did you notice something right here? Or did you not? Let me get a... We get a, uh, a nice straight bar level or something across here. I'm going to show you something really odd. You guys can probably see pretty much what's going to happen here. But, uh, yeah, the Lowe's bucket is shorter. Not by much, in fact. If I look at that gap, I'd say that's a good... I'm going to call it a half inch. There's a half inch gap underneath this right now. So this is about a half inch shorter for some reason. Even though they're both five gallon capacity. So... What does that mean? Is one fatter than the other? I don't know because you can do this. Yep. Apparently Lowe's fits inside Home Depot. Who knew? Yep. Well, no surprise there, right? 
So it went in there, slid up, and it went right to the, uh, the, the ears at the top of the bucket. So we're going to do the same thing. And you know what? Yeah, same thing. Right to the top of the bucket. <laughs> so for your money, so far the only thing you're doing is this one's shorter. I mean, I so don't know. Uh, so now I'm going to take the receipt out first. And I'm going to put them top to top and just see if the very tops are the same. And they look, they appear to be, they're identical. This one here, the, the Lowe's, has reinforcement along this ring under here, which adds to the strength towards the top of the bucket so you don't get as much, you know, this way. Now, what about the Home Depot bucket? Well, it has some small fins in it, but it has nowhere near the reinforcement that the Lowe's bucket has for some reason. And, of course, it's a little bit more squishy. The Lowe's bucket has a little more stiffness to it, I think because, partly because of that reinforcement, or this one here, it caves in just a little bit easier. And we've got, of course, the Logans here. Uh, this one, the Home Depot bucket, the Home Depot. Yeah, there's nothing else on here. The bottom is really rough, and uh, it's not flat by any means. In fact, it's got all kinds of funky, you know, whatever going on here. And of course, it has leak tight right across the bottom. This company, by the way, Leak Type, they will make you a bucket with your name on it. Ace Hardware, they do hockey teams, uh, football teams, uh, logos, flags, personalized. They do print a lot of different buckets besides the Home Depot bucket. Now this one here, the bottom's about the same, but the Lowe's has two rings of reinforcement right here at the center. The Home Depot bucket doesn't. So which one is actually cheaper I'm going to say the Home Depot bucket looks a little bit cheaper made right now. The only other reason is because I've also got reinforcement on the sides here coming into these edges. And again, that helps to stiffen and, you know, carry the base of the bucket a little bit better. 70 millimeter, 70 milliliters, milliliters, <laughs> metric. <laughs> this one here, it just says Lee, Lemon, Lemon Mister, Minster, sorry. Massachusetts from Leak Tight. So it basically comes from Leak Tight. Okay, 70 mil and it's a five US gallon pail. But again, nowhere here does it say made in USA. This puppy here on the bottom says here made in USA and five US gallon, of course. So yeah, there's differences and I never would have been aware of it. I always assumed that one company made buckets for everybody, you know. And so I'll, this one is from another company called United Solutions, which is a different company from Leak Type. So yeah, believe it or not, guys, they're not made by the same company. In fact, they're not even sourced the same. And which one's built better? At this point, my opinion is the Lowe's bucket actually has the better build. They're the same price. Let's face it, who cares? But a five gallon bucket, I'm gonna wash the car, do I care? But being that I have a little bit of that uh, OCD, I just had to find find out, is there a difference? <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> so now, the warning on this about child lab labor and whatever's going on here, you know, don't eat it, don't do this, don't do it, whatever. It's, it's on there. And the Lowe's reads about the same, actually, with the same sort of child logo and, you know, don't leave it unattended with an adult that's washing a car, I don't know. It's like, but they also have the same warning kind of label and in different languages. So there's similarities. There's a lot of similarity to the two. The handles, if I put the handle side by side, maybe you can see that a little bit different. This one has quite a natural curve on it with a bend here and a little bend here. The Home Depot has a strong bend right here, curve, strong bend, and then comes up here and then another, of course, a bend for the handle. You don't actually have it. The handles are not the same. Yeah, that's, that's my whole point today, okay? The buckets are not the same, the same price, but they're two different buckets. There really are both five-gallon pails that are different. Well, besides the collar and, the, of course, the logos. Whoops, I got the wrong logo up there. What's it say here? Do it right. <laughs> the Lowe's. Leave it to Lowe's, I tell you. Yeah, do it right. And... Uh, the other pail, that there's no point in having it here, so it would be useless because it's, it's made by the same company, is the Ace Hardware 5-gallon bucket. 
I don't know what the price is that is for their bucket. I should have checked that, but uh, it's made by the same company and everything. In fact, you know, the whole logo, everything is the same on the bottom. But the question with Lead Tight to me is, where are they sourcing their pails? This is made in USA. Where are you from? You know, this could be made anywhere. That doesn't say. And actually, by law, if it's imported, it, by law, is supposed to tell you where that baby was made. Unless they've changed the law again. Which they might have. I, I don't keep up with that sort of thing. So, now, the weight. Do they weigh the same? Only one way to find out. Let's go find a nice, a good scale. A real good scale. This, this is one of the scales sold by the United States Post Office. Most recognized scales, pretty accurate, whatever. Right now, we're all zeroed out. And we're going to do the Home Depot bucket first. Let's see what we got here. We got one pound, point one one seven. So, that's our Home Depot bucket. Now, yeah. the Lowe's bucket. Are we ready? Yes, we're all zeroed out. And here we go. One pound, point, let's see, one, one, one. So, technically, as opposite as it might sound, of course, it is taller. The Home Depot bucket is actually a little bit heavier. So there you go. In the weight battle, the Home Depot bucket is uh, eh, a little bit heavier, but really they are so close actually in weight that it's, it's, it is what it should be. But I was curious. I was thinking that the Lowe's bucket might actually be a little bit heavier. Apparently not. Below the Home Depot just barely won out. And of course, remember, <laughs> We have that little bit of extra rim on the top here that the other one doesn't have. So that's probably the, what little tiny bit of weight we're reading or something. The uh, thing is, unless you have a preference for color or something, there shouldn't be any difference between them. And like I said, I've, it's been just disturbing. It's been bothering me for a long time that there was like, there's got to be a difference, you know, and I was just wondering what would the difference be? Nobody's ever said anything about it, but I got a funny feeling there is a difference. And you know what? Yeah. There is, a, there is a difference between these two. Does that mean you buy two by fours with this guy and not that guy? We all, let's, let's face it, we all, on that situation, we all go by price. Whoever's, whoever's got the deal of the day, you know. If you like Craftsman tools, you're going to have to go shop at Lowe's. If you like Ryobi tools, you're going to have to go see Home Depot. It's, and if you guys are like me, and I'm really glad, they build almost across the street from each other, which is really convenient because when you get fed up with one, you can drive across the street and go, you know, chew the other one out too and say, what are you guys doing over here? Mm, you know. <laughs> hey, t-shirts, like this one right here, and coffee cups, are in the description below. There's a link to show you where our little store is right now. Please get something for Christmas and give it to whoever watches Coffee and Tools. Hey, there you go. And uh, thanks, guys, again for watching Coffee and Tools. Please, please like, share, subscribe, and don't care about the buckets, okay? Don't have OCD like me. Yeah. <laughs> Over and out.